Hey good people, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing a review on uh, House of Old Spice, okay? And this has been a house since my childhood. I've seen my father using the aftershave of this stuff, like back in the time, the OG formulation, the splash bottle and all that. So they many, many variants after that. Nowadays, you have this product everywhere. You have aftershave and you have uh, balm, you have a shower gel and whatnot, a lot of products. So today I have... Uh, I think it's aftershave lotion atomizer, uh, but it can be used as a cologne. I'm a little bit confused, but I'm going to review this product called Fresh Lime. I saw this product a few days back in a market, and uh, I saw the splash bottle, the lotion one, that's kind of like that lotion means the white lotion sort. And I saw that, I'm like, nah, I don't want that, but I saw it next to that product, and I saw it's 150 mil, and it was going for five bucks, five to six dollars, and I'm like, let's take it, you know, because it has atomizer, so I just want to try it. And it was a blind buy because they didn't have any testers. So it says fresh lime. And you guys know uh, lime lemon is very, uh, it's a sort of like weakness for me in because I live in a very hot tropical zone. So uh, not tropical zone, it's like more um, hot and humid zone. So let's review Old Spice uh, Fresh Lime Aftershave Lotion Atomizer. Uh, this one I have pre-sprayed on the paper. Let me show you the packaging. Uh, this is how that looks like. The typical Old Spice this has this shape. I think they make this in India most probably, I'm not sure. Originally used to be from States, I guess, yeah. Uh, smell like a man, fresh lime. Here at the side, uh, they say rupees 235. So yeah, it's about double the price, I mean double the amount in Taka, okay. So they say Rubicon formulation, you know, they say Agra, what? Maharashtra, India, yeah. So basically it's under India, yeah. So here they have a story. They try to describe the fragrance. I don't want to read it. But basically they say holiday on island, ripe coconut with lemon and stuff. So very, very nice sort of refreshing uh, kind of, uh, let's say, description. And let's see how the bottle looks. Bottle is very simplistic. Looks like typical, uh, your, uh, what do you call, let's say, aftershave bottles. Let me put it back a little bit, yeah. And it has a red and white color combination. 150 ml is a lot of juice, by the way. Okay. And then some writing, the cap. Okay, the cap is a bit long. It reminds me of CK into you, that bottle. And the cap is very flimsy. Okay, the atomizer also very old school classic. Very cheap atomizer. But it does its job. Let's show you the sprayer. Really, really good sprayer, by the way. Okay, it does have huge splash. So basically, what I, to my understanding, they are recommending this product for using as a aftershave lotion or aftershave spray uh, all over your neck or where you just shaved. And it's supposed to give you sort of like a, you know, like cooling sensation with the twist of lime. So let me tell you what I get. I do not get like a, what you talk about when you talk about lime. It's not a typical lime because Old Spice have the old uh, spicy, cinnamony, alcohol, water that burns your skin. The splash one, especially those who used it. And uh, it, this one has that DNA, right? It's definitely Old Spice for sure. But with the twist of lime, they added some lime. There's a coconut. But what I'm getting is basically the spices to get the cinnamon mask. A uh, little bit of uh, lime citrus is definitely there. But uh, when they talk about coconut trees and coconut, I'm not get, picking up that much coconut from it. Uh, it's definitely a bit on the mature side. I would not recommend this product for youngsters. This definitely has a musky, a mature man vibe. I'm not saying an old guy, but people who started shaving, you know, like 20 and up uh longevity on this is not bad i mean for a this one like a aftershave whatever you call this splash it does last like two to three hours which is fantastic you know and the uh, product basically smells pretty good it smells like good quality do you remember uh, the one i reviewed i think it was uh, tabak i think uh tabak yeah there, there was this uh aftershave and the splash it's it falls into the same category i think there's a little bit of tobacco somewhere there so very nice refreshing smell for summer and then it smells masculine uh, perhaps if you buy this product get like a small atomizer or decant like let's say something like it and then uh, transfer it in this one and then spray every two three hours it will definitely come back but it's not like a must have or it smells like something great niche fragrance out there it's a fragrance what all spice is sticking to its uh, good old formula uh, for from the products perspective is pretty good okay but i do not get a super fresh limey fresh cut lime sort of vibe it's more like a musky and a little bit of fresh 
spicy water okay you can definitely think of uh, caribbean holidays um, masculinity everyday usage you're just going out for the shopping in picking up something super mall supermart or uh, supermarket you can put this on casual usage no problem especially if you shave and this is going to give you a little bit of burning sensation and it will be good for your skin i guess okay so overall this product i'm really happy with the price tag 150 mil it can be used for a very long time perhaps i'll give it to my dad he will like it more but i just want to review this product uh, overall out of 10 for value this fragrance i would say like 8 out of 10 yeah 8 out of 10 for all spice aftershave lotion fresh line thanks for watching guys i'll see you soon have a nice day bye bye